recording on YouTube. It is 7.01 in the morning. My house is just starting to wake up. I've been up since yesterday. I work nights. So I've been working on my ultralight uh, rod. This eyelet and this eyelet were busted uh, from the video of uh, Chris's personal best where he caught that cart. He uh, stepped on this and broke these two eyelets. So I replaced them because as you can see, they got two feet each and the originals have one. So I do have eyelets to replace these when they break and a tip. But um, I tried videotaping this and it didn't record and I couldn't upload it. So, I'm going to try and explain what I did. So, I cut the resin and the thread that was holding the two eyelets on that I replaced. And I took this Dr. Slick ceramic bobbin. I'm guessing the, the insert in there is ceramic. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this is for fly tying. And uh, this is um, nylon for uh, guide eye wrapping. So it's double op one, black o one. Uh, focus. All right, it's not going to focus on that, but it's from uh, Hatina Hatena. Tackle. I ordered it off Amazon for a few bucks. Uh, picked this up at a Sportsman's Warehouse uh, outdoor sporting goods store near my house. And then for the resin that I wrap, I did finished it with. I used this high build formula rod, uh, flexible resin, and uh, it's hardener and flex resin with its own syringes it's one part each so however much you put in a one you put in of the other and then just a baggie of uh, replacement eyelets i've got plenty to fix the rest i even got some that are bigger than what i had on here to start this is a nine piece set it was for a bigger rod but now i got extras and then uh, I used the Leatherman Pocket Super Tool. And what I did was I took that bobbin and I uh, made a loop. And I started wrapping like a Yuli knot towards it. And then I just cut it and fed it through the loop and then pulled it tight. And I did that on both sides of the eye. Sorry, hold on, let me block that. Did that on both sides of the eye on both of these eyes and uh, I wrapped it and then I did the resin in a little medicine cup with a paintbrush and uh, coated it quite thick because the old ones are actually quite thick so that it holds it uh, this isn't like a five minute epoxy this actually takes 12 plus hours to cure before you can use it again so this one I did yesterday and it's still kind of tacky I mean I can leave my fingerprint in that little drip that's got to be sanded off but I wrapped both feet on this and you can see I didn't do a very good job because I was learning how to do this one but this one I completely covered the feet this one I did not but it's it's on there I mean it, it's on there that ain't that ain't coming off this one isn't either but I I rewrapped these I re-replaced them replaced them sorry I'm a little tired but this is my ultralight two to six pound uh, pole and this is my all-time favorite but it's a uh, graphite because I was at Sportsman's Warehouse and I was like, well, let me see what ultralights they have. 
and they only have carbon fiber. I didn't see any graphite ones. And uh, they were four foot. This one's five foot. And uh, so I was like, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to make a get a smaller rod that is for that. And they were forty bucks. Um, for just a rod, no reels or nothing, no combo sets. Those were more expensive from like uh, St. Croix and Ugly Stick, which this is an Ugly Stick as well, but it's an older one. Um, so I just was like, well, I'm going to just fix this and do the best I can and hope for the best. You know, that's why this is a DIY channel. So we're going to let this cure. I'm, I have to rotate it every now and then so that the resin cures evenly and it doesn't get like a, a drip forming so I did that and uh, I'm putting together a catch and cook kit over the winter uh, it's my version of an, a fishing kit uh, not like the pocket ones that I did a video on before. Um, these ones are going to be a little more in depth, a little more intense. It's going to have a fishing kit, a fire kit, and an emergency shelter kit in it. And uh, I'm going to put it together. I'm going to test it out before I film it and show it. In the spring, I'll test it. Because it's going to be lightweight like pan fish large mouth maybe um and uh it's going to be a uh, fishing kit and fire kit and like i said in a shelter kit all in one and it's not going to be a pocket kit it's going to be a, a a kit all on its own so it's going to be a standalone kit that you can throw in your car or your truck or on your ATV or uh, what have you um, and if I'm happy with it I'm going to give a couple to a couple friends of mine to test out that are fishermen and let them test them for a few weeks get some feedback from them and then once I'm happy with it I will present it to you, YouTube, and Instagram, and uh, if there's a call for it, because they're all going to be hand built by me, hand assembled by me, I will sell them, um, because I'm taking next year off of hunting and trapping, good skills to learn, but uh, I'm going to focus more on my fishing, camping, and survival uh, skills, sets, you know, shelter building, land nav, uh, fishing, canoeing, hiking, uh, firecraft, wild edibles, trees, uh, medicinal stuff. I'm going to be focusing more on that kind of stuff than the hunting aspect. Um, for now, uh, hunting is a good skill to learn. Trapping is a good skill to learn because you can get material for clothes building, clothes making, and uh, tool making as well, and food more so than fishing. But um, fishing, I already have everything for. I already have my spots. I already have stuff that I want to do. So. Uh, I'm going to focus more on the fishing aspect and uh, the survival. So we'll see how that goes. And again, like I said, I'm going to prototype this. Um, sorry, my dog is over there. Uh, prototype this fishing kit and uh, fire kit and put it together, test it out myself, hand it to a couple friends, let them test it out, and we'll get the pros and cons, where I can improve, what I can improve on, take out, put in, what have you.
Good morning. My daughter's awake. Uh, and then once I'm happy with it and it's a final setup, I will present it into a video. And if people like it and they want to purchase one, I will come up with a price and put them up for sale. So this is Sully, DIY Fender Life Survival with a quick look at my rod repair job and what I used for it. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, please. Tell your friends, follow me on Instagram. Uh, link in the description for that. Um, Facebook page, you, you know, find me on Facebook, DIY Finger Lake Survival. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys. Good morning, happy holidays. It's the holiday season, a couple weeks is Christmas. Uh, the videos are going to be far and few between for the next month or so, kind of like it was before. Uh, work is going to be very demanding right now, and there's going to be another big announcement, hopefully, coming soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see how things go. So enjoy the rest of your day, and this is Sully. Subscribe to my channel and notification bell. Tell your friends. Thank you.